Good morning, it's Max at the Badger Association of the Blind. May I help you? Max Pressgrave answers phones, takes messages, and welcomes visitors to the Badger Association for the Blind. But stationed at the front door, he has the coldest seat in the house. I'm the director of first impressions here. So I just bundle up within reason, you know, without uh, letting it uh, f uh, interfere too much with your appearance. The center's 25-year-old boiler broke down this week. A replacement has to be built, shipped, and then installed. So for the next several weeks, no heat. They are plugging in some space heaters to keep parts of the building warm. But it's a big building with 46 visually impaired people who live here. They have special concerns. There was quite a bit of emotion expressed. Some residents cried. Some residents uh, were, were not angry, but they were confused. A hotel will house some residents at a discount. Others already are living with relatives until the crisis ends. But Marav Mizrahi points out that moving out is tough for someone who can't see. And that can be something as simple as finding out where to get water, uh, finding a bathroom, finding a hallway. Now, these are difficult things, uh, and especially if your orientation skills are not real good. The residents want to stay here, basically. It's their home, so they're bundled up and no one's complaining. Good sports. So while the old boiler sits in disarray, Max will sit at the front desk and try to keep warm. In Milwaukee, Cynthia Vale, today's TMJ4.